All right, everyone, welcome to my own Jurassic World, I guess. We have finally built all the sets. I mean, yes, I will blab on about it again and again. We still do have the Pyroptor set, even though this Dilophosaurus is here, which is in that set, and it's the exact same one. However, that's from the 2019 Legend of Island Nubla sets. I just thought I'd put it in here for extra effect. <laughs> and I think it's awesome. But And also the Nizuto Ceratops slash Triceratops set. And then the Jurassic Park set. And that is it. We will have every single one. But for now, my collection feels superior. For we have basically every single LEGO Jurassic World you can get your hands on. I have it in my collection. Oh. Oh. How long has it been? Six, seven years of building it up? And here it is. I have built the Therizinosaurus versus Giganotosaurus attack set. It is just so amazing. It is, oh, I love it. I'm about to cry. No, I won't. I won't. So, I've built like a whole diorama. I've grabbed the foliage from every single set we have. So, that's the Carnotaurus set. This is from the Baryonyx set. That's the Camp Cretaceous treehouse. Uh, these trees are from the Indominus Rex versus Ankylosaurus gyrosphere set. And this one's from that junior set. I have Beta perched up on it and Blue looking at her. So I've all, in this area, in this section, I have all the Dominion dinosaurs that aren't juniors, except for the little baby ones I put over here. But yeah, I put all the other sets over here, like the Malta. The main world stuff and then we have the biosyn facility where it's just a dinosaur sanctuary basically you've got the atrociraptors even though atrociraptors and blue aren't on the list for some reason but hey i thought extra effect we'll put all the dominion dinosaurs that aren't juniors here got quetzalcoatlus of course then dilophosaurus next to woo that must be a bit uh let me get the oh my bad my bad here we go there that's good quality okay and then, of course, we have the 1v1v1 T Rex versus Giganotosaurus versus Therizinosaurus. Can I get a good look at that? Kinda. Kinda. And, um, yeah. Of course, I'm trying to replicate the trailer. So, in the exact same positions of the trailer from where the Giganotosaurus foot is, uh, we have. Kayla, the Maisie, Owen, Claire, Ali, Alan, and Jeff, uh, not Jeff Goldblum, but it, I, uh, it is, but it's Ian Malcolm, except he doesn't have the grey hair, because I took him from the Jurassic Park sets, because once again, he's in the Pyraptor set only, and I have to wait until the 17th of April, because I pre-ordered that online, whereas I should have just, <laughs> um, not pre-ordered them and bought them in stores, but it's alright. It's so, alright, I can be patient because I have a kind of replacement. One with his shirt open and black hair. So, I don't know, we've done a bit of time travelling there, but that's that's alright. And then, I assume what will take place after Giganotosaurus appears. T-Rex will come save the day. Then Therizinosaurus will join in when things are looking brutal. Now, um, this Giganotosaurus, it amazes me because it is... Uh, its body makes it longer than the T-Rex. Yes, that is correct. It, it is pretty big. And so, just for like, because the Indominus Rex is basically the same thing as it. Um, yeah, it's way longer than the Indominus Rex as well. This does mean, oh, and, and taller, and taller, I forgot to add on. <laughs> so, that's extremely just insane. So, how this happens is the body will start, um, can we get a top view? Yeah, so this is about the same, and then the body on the Indominus Rex stops here. However, it stops here on the Giganosaurus. So this is a completely new body mold with the spikes going up, and it makes it longer, and also way taller than the Indominus Rex as well. Not way tall, but like, still, that is taller. My god, I should be getting the white Indominus Rex so you guys think that I'm a, a 
big pro and all this. I've got every single set there is to get. But yeah, basically, um, to make this realistic, because Giga shouldn't be bigger than T-Rex, Giga should be 4.5 meters according to the charts, but T-Rex is like not as long as Giga. So what you want to do is like just perch T-Rex up like this, so that way T-Rex is taller and Giga is longer. See? So it works out perfectly. And also Theory is tall as well, which it should be. Apparently it's 5 meters tall, which is 0.5 meters taller than the Giga. So, yeah, that's pretty accurate right there, I assume. Uh, even though, like, <laughs> there's some things wrong with the sets. Uh, there should be three claws. There should be no raptor claw. But I don't care because it's so awesome, so I'll just ignore it. Anyway... I think we'll change up the diorama and just have a look uh, inside of these sets. Alright, I have changed the setup to be Dominion, to be purely Dominion only. Up in the back we have the Junior sets, the Atrociraptor ones, then the Quetzal over here. We have the Blue set here, whilst all obviously the Malta ones, and then because the Rex is part of Malta, kind of connects in where we end up with the Giga and the Theory Attack set. So, this, let's have a better look at it. We've got kind of a phone in there. And then, if we take this off, we can kind of have a look at what's in here. So, I believe what's in this one on this screen, it's either a Comsognathus, or it is blue slash beta, but it looks to have the head shape of a compi, so I'd say that. And then this is uh, the tower itself, as you can kind of see. So, the tower is a very cool addition, and it's what we see in the trailer, although it kind of has more of a pole from up here, and it's not as tall, I believe, but it's still really cool that we got that. Now this, I love this helicopter, uh, where can we, so I just moved the quet set for the duration of this, uh, in here, we have this little thing, I'm not too sure what it is exactly, but, um, it could be something to do with how there's, like, the locust starts, start setting the forest on fire, might be something to do with that. But there is a dart, so maybe they want to tranquilize something. Who knows? I'm not entirely sure. We might figure out upon the movie dropping, I guess. But yeah, that's cool. Has biosyn on the sides. And yeah, obviously they spin, if you're wondering. <laughs> of course they do. This is like just a really good build, and it looks a lot like the one in the trailer, so I'm very happy with that. Now... The lab, the lab, the lab, the lab. It is definitely very awesome. I know some people like, I'm annoyed with half a lab, but like we also got half a mansion. So like, I think it's just cool to place figurines in or figures in without having the need to open up and close again and again. So we have Theory and Giga here and it's like pointing at certain spots. It's pointing at the Giga's arm, pointing at the Theory's nails and it's back. And then over here, we have the mosquito, which I believe is being extracted. Um, here, they're searching through the amber. Then this is one of the things that goes into the eggs, I believe. Or they inject... Uh, no, it's into the amber, that's right. Yeah, they place it into the amber. So I believe we take this that uh, the characters hold, and then, yeah... That goes into the amber right there, which is really, really cool. Because we haven't really gotten anything like that. Then over here, it's kind of where you place the buggy. Now, excuse me, I have an Owen on the buggy. But, yeah, it's kind of a garage. We have, like, bamboo structure, security camera. And then in goes the buggy. But Owen's on top of it, so it makes it difficult. Uh, you, you guys can understand, hopefully. Then we have, like, a sort of vault or, like pay for petrol, I don't know why you would pay when you're on, like, a private area, to be honest, but hey, it's alright, and then up here, we have the skull of, 
I don't know, is that a rhino? Because it's different to this one, because it's got the two horns. Woolly rhino has two horns. That would be interesting. This one is, is more of a triceratops build, whereas, yeah, just horns, which is interesting. I don't really think any ceratopsid looks like that. So, could be a rhino. They don't really specify what the skeletons are. And... Yeah, that's pretty much it of the set. We have this over here and then Biosyn on the side. And also the door opens, so that's cool. Yeah, I am beyond stoked to have this. It is just amazing, honestly. <laughs> oh my, I have, wow, just all these Lego sets in my possession. I'm very happy. Because I don't have to wait until April 17th. I already have them built in front of me. Awesome. Just awesome. And yeah. Giga is awesome. Fairy is awesome. I just... I love it all. I love it all. Let's get it all back. I want the plane here. And then I want my corvettes. There we go. Very, very awesome. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Do you love it just as much as I do? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Anyway, I reckon that'll be about it of the video, and I'll see you later. Bye, everyone.